Can I record you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Today's not a good day for me, okay. I can tell you that. So you, you were like you were just you good. were just talking yeah, about how uh, we were talking about the worst you've had the hardest you've had it in life. And Ooh. What, what were you saying? Falling in the outdoor toilet, I guess. <laughs> Falling in the <laughs> and tell go ahead tell the story or when when was that? Oh, tell God, us about your story. About the fifth, fourth, or fifth grade. So that would have put you how old? About ten years old. Probably. So. And you were born in 1922? Mm -hmm. So that would have been 1932. So that would have been during the Great Depression then. Oh, yeah. People were poor. We had to see in their houses, no bathrooms and, you know, just outdoor toilets, a two-seater with uh, black widows growing. <laughs> two, two, two people at a time would use that toilet? Well, they were, well I don't recall two they, ever. They just have in. two different size holes. Because I remember now the house in Colorado, and they yeah. had a little hole for kids and a big hole for oh. adults. So. Oh, well, this was just an outdoor with two holes in the seat. Yeah, okay. And, uh, you know, you Men's and women to get the black widows out so they okay. don't bite your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and so, and you fell in it. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the kids were playing out in the yard, you know, and you know how I'd wait till the last minute to go to the bathroom. And I did, and I dashed in there, and somebody hadn't put the lid down. Oh. And I fell right in the toilet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get out? Well, the kids called my dad. He was working in the field, and uh -huh. he came and pulled me out. Wow, you must have. <laughs> oh, that was awful. How'd they, how'd they clean you off? They... Well, hose me off with oh, the hose. Oh, yeah, hose, okay. Yeah, because yeah. we're not having a bathtub, you know. I... Yeah. <laughs> wow. No bathtub either. So when did you, how did you get baths? Uh, Saturday night, they brought the big tin tub in, and we all took a bath in it at a, one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did that in Colorado, the kids three at a time. Yeah. We put everybody in the bathtub, and we used the same water. Over and over, we kept using the same water. But it was yeah. a big tub then. Was, I mean, a regular bathtub. Yeah, a regular bathtub. Yeah. I don't remember anything wrong with any of it. It was just the yeah. way it was. Just, so. Yeah, that's and that's probably how, the, how they thought. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. You huh, get me interesting. Water. <laughs> so, can you tell us more about the Great Depression? Oh, God. Well, we had six walnut trees. So us kids went and picked all the walnuts up off the ground. Yeah. And the treat of the year was to take them all up to a grocery store in Fresno. When he got the walnuts, he gave us kids an ice cream cone. Now that was a real yeah. treat. <laughs> yeah. The only yeah. time we ever got an ice cream cone. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But we had, uh, what was I going to say? Hmm. Homemade ice cream a lot, which was certainly good. Yeah. Oh, with a little salt. But, you know, you still yeah. thought an ice cream cone was really, and we could have well, bought cones and put the homemade what? ice cream in it. What depression. was your dad? The depression wasn't as bad in California as it was oh. where my mom was. Thank you. Where was it? She was. She was in Southwest Kansas, oh. and that was kind of the heart of the depression. Oh. But they, there were nine kids and they lived in a two-room sod hut. Ooh, no, nine kids? Yeah, and they had, to, they had to cut blocks of mud and they, and they made a two-room hut out of it. And they lived on the prairie. Oh, that was a lot harder then than oh, yeah, when yeah. I had it. Oh, yeah, a lot harder. But I didn't know that you had it so rough in Fowler. Oh. But you're saying it was rough. Well, no bathroom in the house yeah. and a uh, wood stove. Uh -huh. And the boy food sure cooked good on it, though. We had an old ice box out on the back porch in the open air. Oh. Hmm. Ice man came around every so often. Oh. Huh. And we were thrilled to get a chunk of ice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> what did your parents do? What did your dad do? Hmm? What'd your dad do? Commercial spraying, which was bad. Oh. You know. 
Yeah, I imagine it was. Bad. So is that what got Russ into spraying? Was your dad? Is that what got Russ into spraying? Yeah. Your dad. He just learned from yeah, your dad. Yeah, he needed some help, and he shouldn't. He Russ was offered some really good jobs. Oh, really? You know, he was in the shrine, and and there was a lot of top businessmen there, and he was offered some really good jobs. Like and what? Kick, kick myself. I didn't make him oh. take one of them. But he felt like Dad needed help. Well, that's good. That well, Russell, I mean, Dad could have gotten help. Oh. I mean, it wouldn't have been, you know, uh -huh. top drawer stuff. Uh -huh. But, you know, spraying, that's such dirty. Well, Russ was good at it. Well, he did it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, he had some offers of some good jobs. I don't know why he felt indebted to Dad. Dad was, hey, bogey. What's he doing? Just walking slowly over here. He's old now. <laughs> poor little dog. Yeah. Well, he doesn't know he's poor. <laughs> oh, no, he's got a good life. He's, yeah, he does. Good life, huh, Bogey? Hey. Yeah, he must be an old dog now. <laughs> Nobody knows how old he is. No. I think Siren thought he was sick when he got him. And that was about <laughs> 10 years ago? Well, at least eight, I would think. I don't know. Now, he heard something in the house, and yeah. maybe, what's his name, came back. Ryan, is that his name? <laughs> Ryan, yeah. Is he still here? Is he not well yet? No, he's okay. He's okay now? Wonder what he had. Uh, <laughs> Can you tell me? Hmm? We were talking about how different it is than where you grew up. When it, I mean, 2021, and you were born in 1922. 22. So you're almost you're 99 here in yeah, in, 99. Like, in a month. No, three weeks. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot different, huh? Oh, good Lord, I guess. Gee, no bathroom in the house. Of course, you never thought anything about it. At that time, everybody was in the same boat. Yeah. But the bathroom, the outdoor toilet was quite a little ways from the house. Yeah. About a block, I guess. Yeah. No, maybe not quite that far. And that was, and then you went through the depression. Of, yeah. You know, what was, so what, what was, what was the depression like for you? Didn't think anything about it, I guess, because everybody was in the same boat. I know oh, there was yeah. one girl had a, a horse and buggy. Oh, well, that was pretty nice. And everybody envied her, and <laughs> she wouldn't give anybody a ride. <laughs> I guess her parents told her, you know, not to be picking up anybody because, you know, something might happen or something. But anyway, she never did give anybody a ride. Yeah. But she had a horse and buggy. <laughs> yeah. Was it you telling me? It was it you or Grandma Helen that was telling me about putting uh, cardboard in the shoes because you'd wear holes through your shoes. Oh, it what? must have been her. Yeah, Grandma yeah, Helen. I don't recall that. You were the one telling me to be yeah, because in down in California, getting an orange. Getting what? Getting an orange. Oh yeah, for Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a thrill. <laughs> Man. Times have sure changed. What if you got an orange today? You'd probably throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I doubt if you'd do that, if you like yeah. oranges. <laughs> but people were probably pretty, were people generally happy or content or? Oh, or, yeah. You know, huh? I mean, it's, I guess they were. They didn't complain anyway because they didn't know any different. Right. I think people got, had gotten really used to a lot of things around here. <laughs> like the, the spoils of life, I think we all have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dad. If kids had to live like we did then, you know, with no bathroom in the house and Saturday night bath and yeah. no shower and 
But look, you survived to be 99. Yeah. Probably because I never smoked. <laughs> well, <laughs> I imagine that had something to do with it. Yeah, maybe. Is yeah. that the is that the key to long life? Is not smoking? <laughs> well, I don't know. They say smoking bad. That's why I said that. Yeah, yeah. They say a lot of things. Uh, what about and Grandpa? Grandpa was. He died when he was 97 or 98? 97. 97. And he was six months younger than me. So. And you guys were married for 77 years. Mm -hmm. That is a long time, huh? So what's the key to the long marriage? Hmm? What's the key to a long marriage then? Well, letting each one have time to do what they want by themselves, I guess. Because he used to go fishing a lot, you know, weekends and... And I could go with girlfriends, you know, to the coast, or and, you know, we each had time we could do what we wanted. Yeah. We never hardly ever argued. Huh. We were lucky there. Yeah, I mean, you guys, and you, and when you met, he went in. He went into Pearl Harbor. Yeah. So. Yeah, he was... Because you guys didn't really know, you guys hadn't been... How long did you date before he went into Pearl Harbor? Well... Or World War II, like, or... I think it was 11 months before we saw each other at one time. And yeah, because he just, was off. Yeah. Forget just when it was. <laughs> yeah. So what I, an interesting... How was it when he came back from the war? How was your guys' relationship? Oh, we always had a good relationship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't complain about that. He was real easy to get along with. <laughs> <laughs> I could do most anything I wanted, and he could too, I mean, you know. Yeah. He went fishing and not hunting, though, I don't think. I don't recall that. Yeah, it didn't sound, uh... But... It didn't sound like he did much of that. He did, like, fishing. Yeah, he taught me how to fly fish. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time I went was the very first bass I ever caught. And then at Manzanita, they were in California. Oh, there? And then Manzanita. I went, I remember, like, getting four or five trout the next day. I was like, man, this fly fishing's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done a lot since then, but... but Come uh, again with that now? Which part? The whole thing. <laughs> the, the last part. Oh, just him teaching me how to fish? Oh. Yeah, I caught my very first bass fly fishing from him with teaching Manzanita. me. Yeah, at Manzanita. And then the next day I caught, I think, four trout. And I thought that was pretty good. Boy, that, I guess it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, that so. was real good. But, yeah, so here we are in a world now that seems to be in its own turmoil. What do you think about today's age compared to when you grew up? Oh, God. There's no, no comparison at all. Quite different in good ways or bad ways or both? Or what are your thoughts? Well, we didn't have think? anything when I was growing up. I mean, you know, the main thing, a bathroom out of the house. How do you feel relationships were among people? Oh, I think people got along. Well, they visited more. Yeah. And, uh, now it seems like most people are more to themselves, I mean, doing things and... Does people seem happier or less happy? Or do you, can you tell? Oh God, they got so much more today. But that doesn't, does that mean they're happier? Not necessarily. I don't know how to answer that one. Yeah. Remember the Lindberghs had a baby that was kidnapped so all the kids were scared they were going to be kidnapped. Oh, man. 
but they, none of the ones I knew were they, you know, it was the wealthy that <laughs> they wanted to kidnap their kids. Yeah, I imagine so, for <laughs> ransom, I suppose. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't remember, did they get the Lindbergh baby back, or was he dead, or I can't remember that. Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> no, you yeah. wouldn't. Yeah. You probably never heard of that. Hopefully they got him back and he grew up to be a yeah, fine adult. Yeah, did. That's what I'm going to That's what I'm Funny, I can't remember that. Manifest <laughs> as best I can. <laughs> well, I remember we had three, there were six big walnut trees out by the road. and <laughs> I used to climb them a lot. And yeah, didn't you used to trade walnuts for something? You used to take walnuts up to a big grocery store in Fresno. Oh, yeah? And that was the treat of the year. They gave each of us kids all an ice cream cone. Oh, wow. A double dip ice cream cone. Boy, <laughs> was that a treat. <laughs> <laughs> and you love ice cream more than anybody I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really a treat. Yeah. Look forward to that every year. Yeah, a lot of times you'd you know, it was so cold, no electric blankets or nothing, and yeah, you know, and you're down take used brick and, and put them in the oven, you know, and heat them up and wrap them in newspaper and put them in bed for our feet. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do something similar in Colorado when I was working up in the mountains. It would oh. be so cold out, I would get the rocks by the fireplace and I would oh. wrap them and put them in my sleeping bag when I'd go to bed. Yeah. They'd usually start off burning me and then... Oh, you didn't wrap them in newspaper? Well, I didn't have newspaper, no. Oh. But, uh, yeah, it was an inter it, it was an interesting experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. I feel like I can somewhat, you know, not relate for the amount of time you spent on it. But even in Colorado, we had growing up as a kid we had that outhouse out there I kind of whenever you talk about the Great Depression I think about when I grew up in Colorado <laughs> yeah yeah that was kind of <laughs> I mean you lived out there you came out and visited us in Colorado yeah what did, you... did quite a bit of work yeah I think he didn't want us to freeze to death <laughs> <laughs> yeah he did he did a lot of work out there and Neil just kind of sat and watched him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't recall Neil doing anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he had a uh, he had a dream and an ambition, but it's uh, it takes a lot of work to have to do it yourself. Uh, I think. Yeah, Russ was a hard worker. Yeah, he was. He was a very hard worker. He liked getting things done. Yeah. And he was, and he was a very, he was a great person. Like, he really was. He was an exceptional person. He really was. Yeah, he, he was built my, that cabin almost by himself. Yeah, very driven, very kind, and very driven. Yeah, and, no, uh, he, he couldn't have been better. Yeah, I think. Well, I think the only thing that probably had some repercussions on him was the war. I mean, that's the only thing that. Yeah, to go through Pearl Harbor and yeah. then seven years of war. Yeah, yeah. Several battles. Yeah, I think 11, didn't he go? Yeah, it was quite a few. I can't remember right now just how many, but there were several. Yeah, he has quite the stories. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah I don't remember. He should have written all that down. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this yeah. point. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I mean, I love talking to him as much as he would talk about it, because it, you know, and hearing hearing what he went through, uh, and yeah, yeah, he was a great man. He taught me, he taught me a lot of great things. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. No, he was a very good person. Yeah, he was. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think we were married when we were only twenty, and never had to worry about him having any affair or anything. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. secure and very, I mean, he was an amazing man. He really was. I yeah. didn't realize at the time, but as I look back, why? Because I remember uh, he helped Dad spray some, and they go to Madeira, and they had a job, and they ate at this restaurant. 
every night. Yeah. And uh, anyway, there was one waitress that took a liking to Russ. Yeah. And my dad, you know, he never would, you know, communicate with her or anything. He just didn't pay much attention. And my dad bawled him out. And I sure lost respect for him after that. Yeah. 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 He said, you know, he should have been nicer to her. But she was really coming on strong to him, I guess. And yeah, it's that's you know, not. I, just, I really lost something for my dad then. Yeah, but you at the same time, the, the respects that Grandpa, I mean, him, I mean, he's. Oh, he, he never, I never had to worry about him cheating or anything. No, he was an amazing man. Yeah, he really was. Yeah. I didn't really appreciate him like I should have, but as I look back at all his good qualities, why? He seemed... I yeah. mean, I would have never known that he... I mean, I, I, he loved you with all his heart. I mean... The what? He loved you dearly, so... Oh, he was really true, yeah. 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 No, I never had to worry about him. And I mean, he was... He's a, he's such a rare person. I mean, to be such so good and to go do all these things to help people. I mean, coming out to Colorado and helping us as as kids, building the house, and I mean, even all the way until he died, he he's been a rock for everybody in the family. Yeah, he was he was couldn't he, have been better. No, no, he couldn't have. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't. There's not a thing that I ever thought of Grandpa that that I, it was not a positive positive feeling towards mm -hmm. just an amazing yeah, person. I can't yeah. think of anything that uh, <laughs> I remember once he got really mad at me. Oh yeah? And that was very very seldom. We were at the kitchen table and I don't know what the heck he said but I said called him a son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. And it was a very uncalled for and boy, he got mad at me. He said, nobody's ever gonna call my mother that, talk about my mother like that. Oh, yeah. So I, he got really bawled me out. Yeah, well, <laughs> you remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's as bad as it got. I mean, he's got, yeah, that's an amazing, uh, that's a boundary he set for sure. Yeah, Martha was a, really outstanding person. Yeah. Yeah, she really was. And that's the thing, is being called a son of a bitch. You were saying something about him. Yeah. But, but, but if you I think about it. I forget what the heck he had done that made me so mad. But, but you insulted his mother. He didn't even yeah. take, he didn't take insult to himself. He took insult yeah, to his mother. Right. And he was, hey, yeah. my mom is the best. <laughs> it, my mom did a fine, good job and do not <laughs> insult my mother. <laughs> And she and he's a hundred percent right because, I mean, how could you come out better than Grandpa came out? <laughs> no, he's yeah, he couldn't have been better. I can't think of any worries. Yeah. He helped people and. Oh yeah. Yeah, he bought stuff at auction and. He would donate so much of it. Yeah, I mean, took just, it up to the Children's Hospital in Sacramento and. Yeah, he did a lot of good. Yeah, I didn't appreciate him like I should have. I don't think I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do differently? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I hadn't thought about that. But I mean, you guys were married for 77 years. So yeah. I'd say you guys did something right for sure. You got along. I've never once saw you guys fight, ever, once. Well, no, we very, very settled. Like I said, that one yeah. time was about the only time I remember getting really mad at him. Yeah. So that's something. In I'd that say period. one is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> that's something in that period of time. Yeah. Isn't that? What a rare... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was real easy to get along with. Yeah, he sure was. He sure was. And taught everything. He liked teaching. Showing you how to do stuff. Yeah, he was he was a people person. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Well, his mother couldn't have been nicer. No wonder why. And you called her a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it to her. <laughs> yeah, I meant it for him. But <laughs> and I don't remember what the heck he did or said to make me say that. Yeah, yeah, true, <laughs> right? Yeah, it had to be something pretty bad, and I can't imagine him. Probably was nothing. <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, the last two years of his life, he was just a different person. Yeah, that was an experience that was very eye-opening for me in a lot of ways. Uh, that one, uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm in a lot different place now than I was when he was going through that. And uh, uh, yeah, that one's that one's hard to feel the way he, you know, dying, just dying in a home. That was the hardest part for me, I think, is that he that is that he being in there. But uh, uh, yeah, he became incontinent. That was the bad thing, you know, to bring him home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it, yeah. Again, it, it goes it goes deep, but um, but yeah, it's too bad he couldn't. Have. Probably if I had it to do over again, I'd have him brought home and then have, you know, somebody help here. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to. Yeah, that would have been. That was what I was really trying to advocate for. Um, yeah, that would have been better. I should have done that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we can't wish upon. I don't. I hate the thought of us regretting something, but definitely it was an eye opener for sure. So, yeah, would have, should have, could have. I learned a lot of things that I trust I needed to learn for a reason. So, yeah. Yeah, some things that really gets me to think about and puts me in a bad state. So I got to. <laughs> yeah, quit there's doing so it. there's so much. Can't do nothing yeah, about it. And, you know. No, and today was a beautiful day. We did a drive yeah. down the coast. Yeah, it was. It was real nice. Yeah, yeah it was a help. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going on 5 o'clock already.